Making video games is a very creative and refreshing career. No matter how small or large the game you're working on is, you have the creative ability to think of crazy realistic and non-realistic ideas and bring them to life in the game the best way you possibly can. And that's why making games has been part of my life for about 3 years now. Yep, on August 2017, I decided to start making games with the Unity Game Engine full time. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you all my experience as a game developer and the projects I've worked on during these past years. Stay tuned. Hi, it's Jonathan Ikodaro and welcome to my new video. So I started learning a few things about programming in 2017, mainly about C++. I was making console applications, but I knew deep down I wanted to learn how to make games. And that's when I downloaded my first game engine called Panda 3D. Basically, in Panda 3D, you can use C++ codes to make your games. But after using Panda 3D for about a week, it just felt boring and unprofessional and that's when I came across Unity on Google. After seeing tons and tons of videos about Unity, I knew that was the engine to kickstart my game development journey. And I downloaded it instantly and that's how it all began. At first, when I downloaded Unity, I really didn't know what to expect. But as I started learning Unity on the way by watching tons of tutorials from people like Blackton Prod, Brackies, Code Monkeys, and some awesome game developers on YouTube, my my scope as a game developer started to broaden. I started to know the real concepts of what game development is all about and how to actually make a full game from scratch using Unity. So after learning Unity for a while, I decided that it was time to make my own official game, and that's when Pinem Up came to life which is kind of an awesome replica of AA, well don't judge me guys, you know how it is. So after I put together this small game, I gave it to a bunch of friends to try out, you know, just to know their feedbacks, and oh boy at that point I felt like a real game developer. Well with good feedbacks also comes bad feedbacks, but that was when I knew I had to step up my game as a game developer and move on to the next project. And that was when I created my first masterpiece. Well, to me, it was a masterpiece at that time because I actually spent about three to four months developing this game. And that is Dead Zone. Now, Dead Zone it was just a simple game I created where the player rotates around the center of the screen and killing incoming enemy bugs. Basically, you just need to keep killing them and just keep increasing your high score. And at that point, I felt really satisfied, you know learning game development and trying to make my full game even if it was a big deal but to me it was it was just so exciting and refreshing and i got tons of positive feedback on this one i think the game got roughly about almost 100 downloads i think yeah it's not a crazy number but it was so awesome it was amazing to me at that time so yeah So after making Dead Zone, I felt pretty motivated and felt like I could make any game that I want. Then I created Ghost Tunnel. Now if you watch any of Blackton Pro's tutorials, you should know how this game came to life. Anyway, after that, I created my next masterpiece because this game had awesome art style, which wasn't created by me by the way. The game was called Planet Boom. And if you look at this game, the game was actually nice. but as I said, good feedbacks comes with bad feedbacks and a lot of people complained that the game was too hard. And yeah, I think I should have tweaked it up a little bit but I just left it like that. After that, deep down I knew I wanted more. I wanted to expand my game development skills. Then I started watching more and more tutorials, just learning a few tips and tricks, learning some more codes, just making some more little projects. And even at that time, I started working on my very first platformer game, which was actually inspired by Thomas Brush. 
and it was coming out pretty nice even if the game was made in two days it was actually a finished game it was just just a prototype that i was working on but at that time i felt like i was a mad game developer like i knew this stuff so well and it was just an awesome feeling and that feeling made me to keep pushing and just keep learning and just keep growing but recently i came out with one of my best game yet which is actually a space shooter game called Lord of the Skies and honestly that has been one of my best projects I had a lot of fun working on that game heck there are devlogs on the game on my channel so if you haven't watched any of the devlogs totally check them out the link will be in the description and yeah that was actually a game changer for me you know creating something that is actually different from the games I've been making in the past it was actually awesome and now recently I'm working on my second platformer which I also titled my first platformer because this is the platformer game that I'm gonna be finishing up hopefully and the journey has just been awesome the next video will be out very very soon so if you're new around here consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you're updated once the video is out and yeah so guys that has been my journey as a game developer that has been my experience once in this journey i actually fell out of motivation and i didn't make any games in about two months but after watching some other game developers and the things they do it just gave me a good stop and i just went back into the stuff so always keep yourself motivated that's the advice i have for you guys and just keep doing what you love doing if he's making games keep doing it if it's another thing, just keep doing it and one day you will hit success. Thanks for watching guys and if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and I will see you in my next video. Stay safe out there. Bye bye.